everyone, welcome to I Just Watched. I'm Joseph. And I'm Eric. And we're about to talk Hotel Artemis. Uh, honestly, guys, I didn't expect... Wow, I didn't expect... I can't speak today. I didn't expect <laughs> almost anything from this movie. I thought it was going to be one that I was going to be bougie. And I was going to move on with my life. But before we get into those details, friendly reminder, smash that like button if you like this video. Click the subscribe button to stay tuned and see more of our shenanigans. And don't forget that every time you share this video, there's a possibility you save a life. You should do that. I recommend it. He recommends it. Save a life. Small goal I'm going to set on top of this one is 10 likes. 10 likes. Just 10. Just 10. Just, Just 10. 1 0. I appreciate it. He appreciates you. We love you. Let's talk Hotel Artemis. All right, everyone. So, Hotel Artemis. Um, this movie was, for lack of better word, dope. <laughs> 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 like, I was like, oh man, where's it going with this? Oh, where's it going with this? <laughs> dope. I, I, dope. I, I guess. <laughs> like, well, no, it's because, like I said, I didn't expect anything from, from this movie. This movie I was kind of like one of those, be, like. I saw it in theaters, and either it was, eh, but I wouldn't pay for it, or, oh, I didn't want to watch this. But it turned out to be a fun, entertaining, interesting, great action. I fell in love with characters. And I was just like, my issue was that it was over in like 20 minutes because it's <laughs> like, it was, I was so into this it. Movie, I think this movie is like an hour and 47 minutes. So it's not that long of a movie. Too. Yeah. And like, that was my, the saddest part was like, ah, oh, it's about to end. And then it did end. And then I was like, no, I want more. The trailers kind of gave that feel that it was kind of like a John Wick kind of yeah, like thing. Like John Wicky. It was John Wicky. But it really wasn't. It, yeah, it was. It like, uh, like anything related to, like, I feel like anything in the future, like, starting now, from, uh, that involves, like, uh, assassins or, like, this underground criminal world among our regular world, basically, is gonna be... John Vicky. <laughs> yeah, no matter what, it's gonna be, um, compared to John Wick, just because John Wick, one and two are really good movies, mm -hmm. and those are, are two very original style movies that we haven't seen in a long time create they like are starting to create that world so now hotel artemis being similar in the sense that it is a future world because it's like 2049 or something like that it's like 2028 or some shit like that actually. something like that uh, so it's not super far in the future but it is in the future however it is a world where criminal organizations have kind of won like the world is functioning but a lot of criminal organizations are like in power, like they own cities. They have their claws into yeah, like into like everything. Like it's like very. They own a city. Like the uh, the main dude in this one owns L.A. And then they talk about another dude who owns Detroit or owns Chicago. So it's like they, they run it basically, and the way they want to. Yeah, you know, like they they're the main mm. brain at the end of this situation. However, we don't get a whole lot about that world. It's all a very, in the hotel, which is funny because the hotel is actually a hospital. Yeah, and no, no. It's I didn't like when I first saw the trailer. It's like Hotel Artemis, and then it's like, yeah, we're a secret hospital. It's like what? Watching the movie, they're just using an old ass hotel that was called Hotel Artemis. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that makes sense. This movie was. It's. I want. I don't want to say fast paced. It's just. It feels fast paced, but I think it's because it feels it's fast paced. It feels fast paced, but not in a in a sense that it's that it's bad. Yeah, it's they're not like, like rushing. Like it leaves you. It does leave you with questions like Definitely. can you that you want more? Yeah. Basically, it's not. It's not. It's not a bad way. Like. Oh man, I don't understand this. No, it's more like, oh, I would love shit. to see this. I want to see more of this. Yeah. You know, um, things that get referenced or little things that you see. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, that looks dope. I would love to get an expanded version, like where we go deeper into this world that just got created. I doubt we'll ever get any more from this movie, and that is still okay. Just because I like this movie to me, like it kind of blew me away. Because like I said, I was like, oh, it's gonna be garbage. I want to see this movie. Well, again. yeah, because this movie gave me that feel where it was like it, it's either gonna be one of those, it's either gonna be a garbage movie, yeah, or a sleeper hit. Because John Wick was technically a sleeper hit. Yeah, because like, no one really yeah. cared about it about it when it came out in theaters. It wasn't until it came out on fucking like Blu-ray and DVD, yeah. people were like, "All right, let me just catch this up." And they were like, "Oh man, this is really good." They killed a puppy, and they stole his car. Exactly. That's the premise. Uh, but Hotel Artemis is just it's really well done. It, yeah. Blew us out of the water. Yeah, uh, it was a great cast. I mean, I'll say ba that, uh, Bautista, who's Everest in this movie. Sofia Butella. There you go, Sofia. I remember th that. Uh, she was in this movie. She was awesome as hell. Uh, Brown was in this movie. He was amazing as usual because I'm a fan of him. He's gonna be in Predator and he was in the story, uh, the People vs OJ and all that. He's also in Black Panther. Just saying. Um, but 
he was in this. He did awesome. Someone I feel like I haven't seen in a long time, Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster like, was just... She killed it. And I love the way she played it. She played it like she was like this extremely quirky, older li- like lady. No, the way no, she no. walked and the way she like carried herself. And she's not. Like, not really. And that, I thought like little things they did that were funny. Uh, like I said, the action was like, it was awesome. Like seeing uh, Sophia kick ass, like literally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. And she's always kicking like, ass hey, in whatever movie she yeah, what, yeah, that's true. Hey, whatever movie she in. She's like, yeah, I'll be in the movie, but I gotta kick everyone's ass. All right, that's, that's cool. Fine, we'll write fine, it in. Fine, fine, fine. Like, well, hey, we'll, we'll 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 make it fit. We'll make it work. It's there, cool. It, it was a well. It's big known actors. Yeah, like well known actors. Like Jeff Goldblum's in this one. Yeah, I see, and, and I I didn't even know he was in it. And he was like, I think Goldblum's in it. I was like, for real? And then he popped up. I was like, oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> so it like I guess like like it goes back to like when we watched the trailer. I saw all these other cast, and I was like. It has a lot of big names, but yeah. sometimes, you know... Those people, movies are the worst sometimes. Sometimes those, those movies are the worst. Like, you know, sometimes you think, like, it, just because you have a well-known name into a movie, people are going to watch it. And it's true. People are going to watch it because they're going to be like, oh, man, I know this guy's work. Yeah. He does good. Let's see what this movie is. Exactly. But right. this movie definitely blew us out of the water. The story was great. Uh, it was well done. It 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 felt short, but not in a sense, in a, not in yeah, a bad like, way. Not, it wasn't short because it was short. It felt short because I was so lost. Or pulled into this world that got created in front of me that I was just like in it. I was like I fell in love with the characters. I hated the characters I was supposed to hate, and I was just like so into it. And then it's over. But there's little references here and there to like a bigger world, and I was just like picturing it in my head. Like mm-hmm. I want, like this is gonna be a, like I just can't, like if this movie does hit, we get a sequel, and it could be. This is kind of gonna be a slight spoiler. It could be another hotel. Or whatever location they're using as another secret hospital, because they reference this is not this the only is, one. Yeah. This is the main one in LA, but it's not the only one. Mm-hmm. And, so um, we can really grow off of that. I don't know. I just I got lost in this movie because I was sitting there, and not once was I like bored. Not once was I like, oh, I didn't like. I was just like, boom, let's go. And I was in it, and then it ended, and I was sad. <laughs> like for one thing, they're they're using three D printers to regrow. Oh yeah, 3D, organs. Yeah, three D printers, and she's like printing a liver, like straight up, and so like it's. It takes technology we have now and just amplified it to like where we want it to be. To where we want it to be, exactly. So it, it it kind of made it seem like this is how it's gonna happen. I mean, not the bad shit. Hopefully, but the technology wise. Yeah, like it, it's not, it's not a crazy unrealistic movie either. It's not. It it basically it, it doesn't seem unrealistic at all. It, yeah, like it's like twenty years from now, give or take, and it's basically every like you said, like everything we have now just. Amplified to where we would love it to be to where we can really help people. You know what I mean? It's not like she's freaking uh, Superpowers or she doesn't have like this crazy uh, Futuristic device that like does everything like she doesn't have Batman's utility belt or nothing like you know, like, real... or like, you know Magic pills or shit that probably yeah, just heal like, you like instantly. T- take this and you'll be you know call me in the morning You'll be fine. You don't need to call me basically. <laughs> hey, so you, you don't have to do what we're saying But just saying go watch this movie <laughs> stay in touch with us Instagram Twitter Snapchat Facebook description box down below and if you have seen this movie, let us know uh, in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, do you want to see more? Do you not want to see more? Do you... Are we wrong? Is there a movie out there that's like identical to this? And we're like, this movie's original. And it's not. Because that's a thing. All right? That's a big thing. And sometimes that happens. Or they'll be like, oh, man, you know, this is based off a book. I'm like, well, you know what? You know what? Apparently, we don't read. Fuck. And as always, we'll see you at the movie.